All right, guys, welcome back. In the previous episode, we were talking about the war, right? The beginning of the war, you losing your best friend, your boyfriend going away, and you not waiting uh, for your boyfriend, uh, right? Yeah. So let's, in part two, we're going to talk about the war, and we're going to talk about granddad, about yeah. your husband, right? So why don't you... Um, because you've told me this story many times. It's a great story. Talk about how you met Granddad, right? Well, what's the story behind that? Well, there was a station up that said, Caves, over the caves, I said. I don't know. Just up above no. the house. Sorry. Oh, you know. Inside caves. Eh? They were in caves, the soldiers. Oh, no. Uh, there was a station up there. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's so far from the mud roof. So okay. Ahead. Uh, and they used to come up for the dancing, you mm-hmm. know, and... Uh, there was to be a crowd of the girl and Bob was one of them. Mm-hmm. And he couldn't have danced us. He couldn't have danced nothing. Mm-hmm. He asked me to go up for a dance and I thought he was a good dancer. Mm-hmm. He said, I'm sorry. He said, I'm not a dancer. I said, just the matter. I said, just walk with the hall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we got very friendly. Mm-hmm. And we got, you know, so he used to go, take me out. He used to go out. <laughs> what does this mean? What is that? Oh, no, no, not uh, like that, Claire. Like that. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. I mean, we were friendly, good friends. So, back up, though. He was from England, right? Yeah. And you're saying that the soldiers from England were stationed? Up, up at Mutton up at Hall. Yeah. Okay. Up that way. All right. And then they would, on Saturday, Saturday nights, the they'd night. be allowed out to go dancing. Yeah, right? yeah. So they're training during the day, uh, things are happening, and then they're allowed out on, they, on they, Saturdays, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. And then you met, you would meet, you know, you'd see them, you'd see all these soldiers yeah, in, in, yeah. The, in, in the dance hall, right? Yeah. And you see him dancing, and he asks you to dance. I, yeah. I never saw him dancing, it just no. came over. Yeah. That's me to think up for the dance. Yeah. And I, I brought do you think he was watching you dance before that? It must so have been. So you sat down watching, right? It, it must have Because you were like a whirlwind all around yeah. the, the floor, right? Anyway, yeah. Yeah. I thought, my God, he can't he dance. I want to be tripping <laughs> over his feet. I never see is that, is that Was that important for you? Like you know, a man had to be a good dancer? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. not that like a good dancer. But an okay dancer. Get around the floor. Yeah, get around the floor. I don't just, but I said, I'm sorry. I said, uh, Maybe he was drunk. I'm not a dance, no. Yeah. If it was that one thing, it was an alcoholic, or okay, like that. Okay. And uh, he said, I'm sorry, he said, but I said, it's, it's okay, I said, it's okay. I said, everybody's got to learn. Mm-hmm. So every time he came up, I always took me up for a dance. Mm-hmm. And he asked me to go out mm-hmm. for a meal. Okay, so wait, so you'd see him every Saturday, yeah. right? And you'd have no contact during the week, right? Cause you, no, because right. he's busy he, then, you know, he's, he's in the army, right? Yeah. But... It became more and more. So every Saturday, you're at the Lone Head dances. Okay. He would come over and see you, uh-huh. and you dance more and more and more, and and and, uh-huh. and talking talk yeah. together, right? Yeah. 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 Then my dad says uh, to me, "Who's this guy that you've seen at a sat today?" How did he, How did he know about? Um, I don't know. Yeah. But he says you never mentioned his name or anything like. Yeah. I says it's one of the soldiers. I says the uh, a soldier. I says, ah, I says, go to the dance center all day. Oh, aye, we had a sea station about then. I says, up, up at the caves. Wait, who said this? My, my dad, my dad was asking all the questions. Your dad died in 1936. Right? We're talking about. What? Not 36, 37. Yeah, but this is 1940. All oh, right, that's why. I was at my dad. It was Tazzy when he was younger. Yeah. Tazzy, it was your dad. Yeah. I'm getting my dog No, it's okay. Anyway, anyway, it's my mum. Yeah. You know, my mum says, the soldier, she says, uh, you were seen by a soldier. Yeah. Some woman uh, goes to the guilds. Yeah. I saw you. You were so seen. Of the, it's a small village, right? Uh, it's a small neighbourhood. So you, you, you thought they were in the army. Boys, yeah, eh? yeah. So my mother says to me, who's this army guy that you've seen? Okay. I says, I met him at the dance, and I says, he's a nice guy. She says, Really? She says, well, I'd like to see him. And I'll tell you if he's a nice guy or no. Mm. So I'm invited to go up to the house. Wait, did she know he was English? Eh? Did, she, did she know 
that he was English. I was just trying to do I thought oh, yeah, okay, sorry, go on. Yeah, yeah. I told yeah, her. Yeah. And she said, they had brought to the house. And uh, we had a meal up in the house mm-hmm. and that. Mm-hmm. And the day on, oh, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. He used to come to the house for me, and he said, mm-hmm. and my granny, he asked me to marry her. Mm-hmm. So my granny well, said, let's, let's, you're jumping, you're jumping your head, right, to marry Well, let's, let's, let's back up. So you're on your third date with, with Bob, right? Uh, well, he, I, whatever, but he's he's coming to your house every Saturday for yeah. you, right? And he's happy to do that because the food is probably a lot better yeah. than he's in getting the in the army, right? Yeah. So your mom, what's she doing? She's cooking a meal for for, for uh, Bob or yeah. what's happening? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, she went out. Yeah. yeah. Right. And she liked him. What did, what did she think about him? Oh, well, she didn't like him. She didn't give him. Yeah. Really. And, and your granny was there too, right? My grand, they up my own yeah. house, but my granny says, "Look, when when it, she says." You know anything about this guy? Yeah. I says, well, I'll tell me quite a lot. Well, he, he can't dance, right? That's all I, I says, know. He can't right? dance. That's, that's the one thing I know. One thing. Yeah. I says, she says, he could have a life of kids yeah. in England, which is true. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't know anything about that. Yeah. So she says, you better be careful, right? Right. My granny warned me. Yeah. And when I told her I was going to get married, mm-hmm. they asked me to marry her. Mm-hmm. You're not getting married, no way. Mm-hmm. I says, Grad, it's it's all right. It's it's a true blue. Yeah. I don't care. You're not mad enough. Yeah. We've said that to you, but he could have a wife and kids yeah. out in England, and you don't know that. I says, I'm getting married. Well, we got married in church. Liverpool. So wait, back up a little bit because you're jumping in, right? So well, there's not much to tell between us. Well, are you saying that he asked you to marry him yeah. five weeks into the into this relationship? Is that well, what you're saying? Another one in there. Right. Because okay. you went from dancing yeah. to eating, eating food at, at, at your top, house, right? Up there, that, yeah. Right? And then and then how long after that did he ask you to well, marry him? Well, you get few months. Three months. Two, three months. Right. Two months. That's so fast. Yeah. That's, that's really fast, isn't it? I mean, to go from zero I bet to, to let's get married. We were very careful. I mean, that. Yeah. my granny wanted to pay you more. Yeah. And it was all right. Yeah. So we were good, got married. And my mom and my grand made the meal. You no, know, okay. We didn't have a big wedding because it was war. Yeah. And uh, I went to, uh, to England. Yeah. For honeymoon. Yeah. I met his parents. And well, let's, okay. Let's talk. Let's talk about the wedding. Where was the wedding? It was a church at Liverton. Liverton. Liverton Church. Just over yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it what was, was that like? You no, know, my wedding reception. Yeah. The minister. The minister. Yeah. You know, the thing is about you when you get married. Yeah, okay. Anyway. All your friends are there? No, not all. I didn't have uh-huh. a big wedding. Right. No, it was war time. He know. had his, his soldier the friends, food, his The best food was man. rationed. And, yeah. Oh, right, right, okay. Anyway. Couldn't, couldn't, um, couldn't Bill give you some extra food for the wedding? Remember Bill oh, was giving you that food, right? Extra, but you yeah. couldn't ask all the people. Did you have a cake? I had a cake. Really? Yeah. There's rationing, but you have a wedding I cake. I had a right? wedding okay, cake. Okay, right, all right, all right. Anyway. Uh, what was I got to say? Your honeymoon. I went, to I went down to England. This is your first I time his dad. to meet his family, right? I met his dad. Yeah. His, his mother came for the wedding. Okay. And his young brother, Jack. Yeah. Uh, and I said, God, if I meet his dad, I wonder what he's like. Mm. So when I got there, it's a tall man. Yeah. Because what your granddad was tall. Yeah. He was 60. Yeah. He he did the cool cool steel guards, the first one on war. Yeah. His dad. And uh, it was quite nice. Yeah. He talked to me and that again. Did you understand his accent? Like, look, uh, he didn't understand what I was yeah. saying. Yeah. And I didn't understand what he was saying. Okay. So we had a an interpreter. <laughs> and the trans again the sound. Hey, you had to have like Google Translate, yeah. right? On, on a phone. Funny talkers. Yeah. Yeah. We got there, we got there, and then. Were you, okay, were you nervous going down to England for your, your oh, first was, time uh, to, was, to meet the family, was, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. And and so his mother was nice to you, the dad was nice no, to she you. No, she was right? all right, we got there, but she had the, uh, she, she, somebody put this to me, uh, she, I don't know, she seemed to change, she was off on chat, the young, the, the young lady, you know. Okay. She used to do a lot of bacon and everything, and they were off on Johnny, and my two kids were there. 
Right. But I've forgot a bit. So, so I used to create hell. In what way? Oh, say that I'm not coming back here. You didn't treat my children right, like that. Right. Well, we'll talk about we'll talk about that in future episodes about the 1950s. But we're, let's let's focus on the first trip down. Let's let's stay focused on that, right? First trip down. You're meeting the mother-in-law, the father-in-law. They're English. You have no idea what they're saying. Uh, no. They have no idea what you're saying. Are you, are you thinking what? Have I done here? Like, uh, what am I doing? Right? Identified. Did you think you'd have and to I, live in England? Like, I, what were you thinking about this? I was the one that I lived no way. Yeah. And I had a, I went through that, I got a new outfit for going down. I had one of the wee hats, the, with the veil. Yeah. You know, the, the, I, I was smoke, smoking at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, sitting in the bus to do England. Yeah. I take some cigarettes out. Yeah. <laughs> and I put them on out, I flip them back, the funny veil got back. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's the veils went up in flames. And what did you do? I had to chuck the heart out the window of the bus. It was sleep. I forgot I had a veil in. Oh, I'm talking about a fight in my life. So it, that's too clear. It's on fire. About that. You're you're hitting your face and you open the window and oh, throw it out. Oh my right? god! I chucked it out the yeah. window. Right. It was countryside. The yeah. bus. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't mind about that. Right. But for go I had a veil with my heart. <laughs> so you're you're in England and did they say to you, um, you know, we want Bob we expect that Bob's gonna live in England. He's not gonna move to Scotland. Oh, they never, never, never this never came it. up in conversation? Never yeah? seen anything like that. No. Right. No. And what was Bob no, saying? I need to still have to say to Scotland. So he wanted to stay? He wanted to stay in Scotland. Why? I told her. Yeah. I said, you want to marry me, you have to stay here. Yeah. And yeah. you don't, don't bother. Yeah. I says, I'll stay here. Okay. And he said, yeah. He was happy enough to stay, right? At yeah. the finish, he was saying, oh, I can, I can. I can. Can, can, can how we talk? I yeah. Can. Yeah. I thought it's coming to me words. Yeah. I said, see, you like Scotland. Yeah. He says, oh, I love staying here. Yeah. We used to go down for a holiday. Yeah. You know? And I, of course, I lost my first baby. Mm -hmm. I was my first baby. Yeah. And uh, then I had Carol. Right. Well, we're going to talk about your children in yeah. the next oh, episode, right? right? Okay. We're going to focus on the war. So now... I mean, you... I'm to tell you much about the war, to be honest. So, granddad's in the... Uh, what 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 was his um, regiment? Like, what, the Dermot Light Infantry. Dermot Infantry. Infantry. Okay. Yeah. All right. And they're stationed up in Scotland. You get married. Does he go to war after you get married? Oh, I have yeah. It's so still, we'll, still talk about that. So what what was that like? It was still in the army. Yeah, aye. right. But he had to so, go back overseas, right? He had to, aye. Yeah. They, they used to come home and get a leave, yeah. you know. Yeah. And uh, every time he came back, he brought Gina and I cigarettes. Yeah. My sister. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, he smoked too. Yeah, you know? yeah. But, uh, Do you remember where he was? Where oh, he was I fighting? used to get letters. I used to get letters. Well, so where was he? But do they go in somewhere? No, no, but he was fighting the Germans, right? Where was he? Oh, God, I didn't care. I didn't North Africa? That. I never Italy. knew that. You no. never knew? Never knew that. You never asked him after the war? No. like. never knew that. Really? Never, to this day, I don't know where he was fighting. No. Oh, so, no, that he used to come here and leave. And... In his letters, you you would get his letters. He he could not tell you where he was, no, right? He's know. like, I'm in combat somewhere. Secret service. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and what what were you thinking at that time? Were you thinking, I'm not going to see him again? I mean, what, no, I what's, what's the feeling? That. I never thought that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I never thought yeah. that. You always knew, I knew he would survive. That. Uh, yeah. Did he talk about that in his letters? What did he say? No, I just seen how much I was getting on and living. And, yeah. And I loved me and all that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'll see when we come home and leave. Right. No, he was a great, a great husband. This girl, yes. So you, you never thought that he would have been killed? In battle, no, never, right. never gave that a thought. And was he in the army then for the whole four years, the rest of the time? In, I'll, I'll the tell war? you, he used to yeah. say, he used to say, when the side used to go, I'm yeah. not kidding, and the, it says, it says, I've got to tell you that I prayed. Yeah. It says I've never prayed so much in my life. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So it get killed me. Right. But it, it came through the war. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever talk about the war after no. he came back? No, no. Never did, yeah. And I never encouraged him. Do you think that? Do you think because he saw, you know, 
so much inhumanity, so much yeah. carnage and yeah. killing yeah. during his time. Friend, yeah. His friends were killed yeah. and, and, and all manner of yeah. horrible things happened to him, right? Yeah. And those guys, you think that he just didn't want to talk about it? Uh, and the war was over, right? I think yeah. they'll tell the story when they come home. Uh, uh, when they speak, when they have run. It's just, it was the feeling very great, you know. Mm. And of course, they said, right to the, the who's, who's the head of the ref, right to it? Sergeant Major or the Major or whatever. Mm -hmm. Straight to one of them anyway. Mm -hmm. there. So I think I've got pleurisy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pleurisy, get back into the thing with You've not got any pleurisy. <laughs> <laughs> You're going back to fight, right? Oh, dude. Right, it's, it's, I think I've said I've got, I think I've got pleurisy. <laughs> and we kind of had it for nothing it twice. <laughs> Did, um, so were, was Grandad ever uh, wounded during the war? No. Anything happened to him? No. Nothing happened at all? No. So his prayers paid off yeah. after the war. Yeah. Um, unscathed. Unscathed. He's fine. Happy. Right? And, yeah. and, and so when he knew... Like the last time he came back home and the war was over, and he knew that it was it, that was it. That was it. Uh, so how did you feel then? Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So it was said with my mum. So we got the house. Yeah. We got the house. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was really good. Really good. What? Um. But, so. Now, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. One of my mates, one of my friends, her husband was a Japanese prisoner of war. Yeah. And if you've seen him. Yeah, yeah. Even I gave tops for up when they came home. Very skinny. It was skinny. Yeah. It was beaten and all the rest yeah, of it. Yeah. For the chaps. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. it was awful to see the likes of yeah. that. Um when it finished, right? V E Day. Do you remember where you were? Oh how we you had found a party. Out? Yeah. Uh, we were dancing in the street. Did it come out over the radio or something or what? what yeah. What happened? It has down, uh, I can't mind the words now, mm. but it's to tell you that Britain had, mm. the war is over, mm -hmm. and you showed you do the England people were going crazy. Mm -hmm. Right enough, they got it really mm. bad, England. Mm. They got it worse than anybody yeah, else. Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. yeah. And so everyone was just dancing in the streets yeah. and running around. You were so just drinking all day, all weekend? Aye. Uh, yeah. Well, I never drunk much. Though. Yeah, yeah. So, but, yeah. Uh, but, uh, Came home. Yeah. That's the way thing got skipped. And then skip ahead three months to VJ Day, right? Victory in Japan Day, when the uh, whole war ended, the total uh, war ended. Yeah. What was that like when you knew that everything was over? Oh, that Do you was remember cool. that? Yeah. Like big party scene. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. my, that was a relief. Especially for the people in England. Yeah. Because they were really, really. Yeah. The, every night. I mean, I was doing that. I think with it. I was we were eight weeks in there. Yeah. The side is wet every night, Graham. Yeah, you know, you're yeah. out in shelter. With my granny used to say, I wish she'd come here. I wish she'd come here. Well, I mean, especially um, the south the south of England, right? Reading yeah. and London were uh, really bad yeah. bombed, right? Yeah. yeah. We had both came. It was a village. It was nice. Yeah. It was quiet. Yeah. But that was it. That was it all over. Yeah. So oh. the war finished. Everything, yeah. Bob came home. Yeah. And uh, he decided to, to live here, yeah. right? In, in, yeah. in Scotland. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 When it was away, when it, when the last time he was home, I'd leave. And uh, I, I thought, no, I didn't get a phone call. I wrote a letter. Yeah. To, I felt I was pregnant. Yeah. Oh, God, it was over the moon. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this, when he, he was stationed somewhere. Uh, North Africa or uh, Europe or something, something right? Something like that. Uh, and you wrote a letter saying, um, stay safe, P.S. <laughs> I'm pregnant? I'm pregnant. Right. Oh, yeah. it was over the moon. Did you get a letter back from me? Ah, yeah. since he went out with some of the boys that had a few drinks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, but that was the baby I lost. Yeah. Nine, yeah six yeah. weeks old. Yeah. So. Yeah. But uh, then I got Carol, then I yeah. got Anne. Yeah. That's my two. That was it. Yeah. Uh, well, they, those were some um, really, you, really crazy times, some, right? Some people's yeah. got horrific stories to tell about the war. Yeah. But we, we really lived in Burden it was quiet. Yeah. Just, I mean, for the most part, yeah. you guys were okay, right? It was quiet. Yeah. And, and, but you had friends that were killed. Yeah. 
probably men from your village that you don't know, yeah. but probably men from the village, yeah. right? Were, were yeah. in the service and they were killed, right? Yeah. Um, and, and when I saw that, my, that friend's husband, was the kid did, Japan. Yeah. Yeah. It was terrible. Yeah. Honest to God, it was yeah. horrific. Yeah. To treat anybody like a human being like that. Did, did he get better? Did you see him later on after no, that? I don't think he ever really got, you right. know. Right. I don't think so. Right. But I think then, I mean, I, I speak for everybody watching here and, and all the people around the world that uh, there's a reason why your generation is called the greatest generation, right? Uh, because you did so much yeah. for the world. You you guys hung in there against some of the greatest evil that we've ever seen, right? Yeah. Um, and all the people that, that fought in the war and stopped that uh -huh. evil from happening, you know, our, our world would be so much different without yeah. what you guys did, right? Yeah. Even your contribution... You you were at home, but you were making torpedoes yeah. you know, for, for, for the, the Navy. Navy and things like that, right? Yeah. All the people got together and said, we're not going to let our way of life end, yeah. right? Yeah. So thank you very much Yeah. You know for, for, for being there for oh, all of us. It was, you know? it was different with the generation. And we were all young, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we were yeah. 10-year-old, 12-year-old, 14-year-olds. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. your teens. Yeah. So, well, that's that's one of the reasons why I want to make these videos because um, we are we're losing that generation every day. More and more people, yeah, right, are yeah. passing away. So we're not going to have the stories anymore. And that's why you're here to tell these great stories, right? Well, I that's why we're doing it, right? with my dad when he was killed. Yeah, I mean, I was at my work, and uh, my dad said was my supervisor, and. I saw the, the the guy that came up. He was a driver with mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. SAT buses, mm -hmm. bus. and the do I said it straight there, mm -hmm. paper shop. And he's talking to mm -hmm. Dancy, my Dancy, or Maggie Keith. That was his chief one. Mm -hmm. And the next thing, Dancy said, "We get a coat on, you know." Now I says, "What's wrong? Mm -hmm. What if Dancy? No, Dancy's going home. I'm going home." Mm. No, it's not, it's not for you, it's for Nancy, the ear there. I says, it must be my granddad or something, mm -hmm. wrong. This was the twenty sixth of the November, 1937. Mm. And an hour later, I was working at my machine, and I was called on Maggie Keith, Dad. She says, you have to go home. She mm. says, the guy's here to take you home. Mm. But she never says, what for? And I says, what for? I've got to go home for. And he, he wouldn't he tell me. Mm -hmm. So he dropped me at my grand's. I went up to my grand's. Mm. My mother was there. My dad had been killed in the pit mm -hmm. this morning. You know? mm -hmm. A day I'll never forget. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. That was in 1937. Mm -hmm. Just two years before World War II. Yeah, your, your dad survived World War One. Yeah. Right? If in that's the trenches. It, yeah. it, it starts, if that, and then he was killed in the pits. Yeah, and, and World War One was horrific, yeah. right? And yeah. trenches and the bombs going yeah. off. And he survived yeah. four yeah. years of that. Yeah. And then to be killed at work. Killed at work. To leave terrible. two young daughters behind, yeah. right? So. It was a thing with coal fell and broke his yeah. neck. Yeah. Yeah. But that's how it happens. Well, it was, you know, it was your dad's generation and your generation that probably saved the world, right? Those two wars, yeah. right? The West yeah. against things that were happening, the evil that was happening in Europe, right? You yeah. guys, you you did, you saved. This is not, we're not telling stories here. We're not being uh, hyperbolic. Like you yeah. guys, uh -huh. especially World War II, your generation, right? Yeah. You saved the world. Uh -huh. So thank you very much. You right? delayed yeah. my dad. My yeah. dad was one of the yeah. yep. used to say, they threw away the mold when they made my father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the heart of gold. Mm -hmm. That's where I take it open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then and then you met uh, another man who had a heart of gold, right? Bob. Yeah. Your granddad, yeah. right? So yeah. you met, you had a great man in your life. You yeah. lost your father. Yeah. yeah. But you met another great man, uh, right? Yeah. Granddad, right? He was good. Yeah. Was and, good. and he stayed with you for... The entirety of his life, the rest oh, of his life, right? You guys stayed yeah, together, right? Yeah. So, I right? that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I've, I've had a good life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A good family, yeah. good parents. Yeah. Well brought up. Yep. Yeah. So, and and I've, I've married a good man. You did. You did. That. 
All right, Anna. That. Well, we're going to finish off the World War II episode. Thank you very much, okay, for talking to us no, tonight. Sorry. Six dollars. Six dollars. Can I get a discount? Eh? Discount? No. What's this happening? <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, <laughs> We want to thank Nan for coming out. It, we're still recording, Nana. We're oh. still recording, right? Oh. People are still watching you, right? So we want to thank you again for talking about your experiences during the war, um, the, the, the funny parts, the sad parts, right? Everything that happened during the war, yeah. you know? And I know that you talk about it a lot off camera, and that's the reason why I wanted to get your stories on camera, right? Yeah. So important. Yeah. So thank you again for everything you guys did for us. I okay? the next, I quite like this, you know? Where's the next session? Well, the next one, we're going to talk about the post-war, about your children, about moving, oh, yeah. about what life is like, okay? Yeah. yeah. So, say a big bye-bye, a cheerio to everybody, Nana. Cheerio, right? cheerio everybody. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you again for watching. And in the next episode, we're going to talk about the post-war period. All right? Yeah. Cheerio. <laughs>